Hello everyone, I'm Zhi Xiu Guo from Institute of Information Engineering, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Our work is Skill Explorer, understanding the behavior of skills in large scale. A virtual personal assistant is a software agent that can perform tasks or services for an individual based on commands or questions, such as Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri, and so on. These VPAs are loaded on some smart devices to provide services especially smart speakers like Amazon Echo and Google Home. At first, these smart speakers only had some preset functions, such as set alarm clock, share the count reader, play music, and some else. To provide more abundant services, providers encourage third-party developers to add new abilities, like playing games, ordering products, etc. These could skills by Amazon and actions by Google. We all call them skills in the next part. However, skills are not safe enough. According to recent studies, attackers can create skills that can root users' requests to malicious skills without users' consent by creating skills with similar names of benign ones, for example, cat facts and cat facts. As we know, a skill is a voice app, and recent studies are mainly focused on the invocation mechanism of skills. So, we want to know if we can analyze the content of a skill systematically and automatically, just like analyzing a traditional app. Consequently, we develop a tool called Skill Explorer. However, it is not easy to do. Skills are a kind of web service. Compared with traditional apps, they are similar but have essential differences. For traditional applications, we take Android apps as examples. Users should download an APK file from a market and install it on their phone. Users will use the application by touching and clicking on the mobile phone. To analyze an Android app, there are many methods, such as static or dynamic analysis with the code or document. For voice apps, we take Amazon skills as examples. Users do not need to install skills on smart speakers. Instead, they can use a combination of breeds and the invocation name automatically enable a skill. Also, users interact with the skills many through voice commands. As for analysis, the code or the document is not available by skills. Therefore, the analysis method of traditional application cannot be used in skills. So, to analyze a skill, there are two main challenges. First, skill is fully blackboard. What the analyzer can do is only to send input to the skill and observe its output. The second one is the input and output of skills are in the form of natural languages. The analyzer should understand the output from skills. A chatbot would be one of the solutions to explore the behaviors of skills. However, the questions may not be well understood by existing conversational systems. For example, would you like coffee or tea? The famous chatbot Mitsuko will answer, it doesn't sound fun to me, which can be understood by human but not by skills. So we build an interactive system for skills called Skill Explorer, which can interact with skills automatically. Here is the framework. First, we should get the first input to attack a skill. Developers provide utterance samples in their skills introduction pages to teach users how to use their skills. Some developers will also give instructions in descriptions. We will collect them as our utterance corpus. After the first utterance is sent to a skill, it will feed back an output. We refer to the output as questions. Skill Explorer should understand these questions and generate answers for continuing the conversation. We randomly interact with 10,000 skills and collect the output as the basic corpus of replies. We divided this into five types according to the way to generate answers. There are yes no questions, instruction questions, selection questions, WH questions, and mixed questions. First is the yes no questions. It expects answers yes or no, like are you ready? Here is the corresponding constituency based post trick. It is usually used in NLP techniques. And we focus on the tag SQ to find yes-no structures. 
and suggestion questions are the questions that give users direct guidance on how to answer them. We focus on the word say and ask. We answer the content according to the file patterns from Oxford Learners dictionaries in the table. We subtract the WHQ and INS as answers. In the example, we extract help me as an answer. Selection questions containing multiple parallel answers. We consider two situations. Selection as six best answers, which are marked by indicators such as numbers or letters. As the example shows, we extract one, two, three as answers. As for selection CC, the answers usually connected by coordinating conjunctions words such as and or. Here is an example. We extract parallel components connected by, co by the coordinating conjunctions label CC of the word or. They are get a quote, listen to the daily briefing. WH questions are the questions with WH word, such as what, where, and so on. Here we focus WH questions related to users' private information. We build a virtual user's database to answer them. Here is an example of a virtual user. Missed questions usually contain more than one type of these four questions. We build the rules manually and answer them according to the rules in the table. For example, in rule three, if selection CC and instruction questions in one sentence, we will deal with both types and extract answers, lessons, classes. We also should record the exploration. We create an I tree. Here, each node in the I tree represents a single interaction, which includes an input and corresponding output. Different answers will produce different branches, and the node will be marked as visited if it is explored. If the current path ends, Skill Explorer will restart from the beginning to the unvisited node. For example, when the first utterance opens CSM Premier Collision in N0, it is sent to a skill. Skill Explorer passes the output as a question and generates eight answers and stores them from N10 to N17. To speed up the exploration, we use some mechanisms. First, we will ignore the same output in different nodes because if a question passed again and again, the I tree may not end. For example, the output in N20 is the same as N0. We will end the current pass. Second, we will not wait for every output reading. For example, when exploring the second part from N0 to N21, the output in N0 and N10 has already stored. So, Skill Explorer can directly utilize the stored input to answer the output and not wait for its reading. As for evaluation, Skill Explorer has analyzed nearly 30,000 skills from market using their simulator, and its past coverage rate is about 90%. We also evaluate the answer generation here. Yes, no questions has the best performance, while the error rates of other types are all less than 10%. The whole exploration time is more than 5,200 hours, and each skill costs about 10 minutes on average. The speed up mechanism helps us save 29.2% of the whole time. Next, I will introduce the landscape of findings. We corrode about 68,000 skills from Amazon market and find that there were about 12,000 different developer names. Some developers have more than 1,000 skills. We also analyze the invocation names and find that about 10,000 invo skills invocation names do not meet Amazon's requirements. Among these, more than 2,000 invocation names are not unique. In addition, we want to get some findings from our interactive records. According to the rules of some market, for example, Amazon, for some kinds of personal information, Developers are allowed to obtain them for better user experience, which should be obtained by using specific APIs to configure permissions and should be claimed in the privacy policy of the skills. We compare the private keyword interactive content with privacy policy and check the permission settings. Here, we use the dependency-based path structure to extract keywords 
and the combination of polite work, general term, and some subtle relationship words to finish the job. Finally, we find more than 1,000 skills that conflict with the developer's specifications. After finishing using a skill, users will stop the skills. Otherwise, the skill will continually listening to users' private conversations. We ask the time using Alexa's preset function what time after saying stop. If the response is the current time, we can verify that the skills has already existed. Otherwise, it is still on. We found 68 skills have problems when users say stop. Some skills change the default stop command to others, such as I've done. Some skills just ignore the stop command. Seven skills seem more strange. For example, skills reply can notify this skill, or OK, but the smart speaker's light is still on. Now, I will summarize the work of our paper here. We develop a systematic method to explore skills through a suite of grammar-based approaches. Second, we conduct a large scale of testing in the skill market. About 30,000 skills are evaluated. We also find a good number of skills that don't follow the development rules. Besides, we find some suspicious skills. That's all. Thanks for listening. Next, I will be happy to take any questions.